they are applicable in low noise amplifiers. High impedance pre-amplifiers. Switch circuit. Sample and hold circuit. Voltage regulators. Oscillators among many other applications. It is a very tiny device in the heart of technology called JFET. How does it work? Journey with us till end as we explore how JFET works. JFET stands for Junction Field Effect Transistor. In our previous video, I talked about field effect transistor, so do watch it out for more. Chvet is a unipolar transistor, which acts as a voltage-controlled current device. And is device which current at two terminals are controlled by the action of an electric field at PN junction. As opposed to MOSFET which creates a junction via a field generated by conductive gate separated from the gate region by a thin insulator. We will talk about MOSFET in our next video, kindly don't miss. Basic construction of Chvet has three terminals, namely, source, drain, and gate. Source is terminal which majority carriers enters through the silicon bar. Drain is the terminal through which majority carriers leave the bar. Gate is the terminal which controls drain current and is always reversed biased. Chvet can operate either in N-channel or P-channel. In N-channel, electrons enter the channel through the terminal called source and leaves through the drain terminal. And its channel has electrons as majority carriers. While P-channel has holes as majority carriers. The only difference between N and P-channels is that in N-channel current is carried by electrons while P-channel current is carried by holes. When voltage is applied between drain and source, electrons enters through the source terminals and lives through the drain terminal. Hence an electric field is built within the channel, which facilitate current flow across the channel. When gate is connected, electrons will enter through the gate terminal. In N-channel gate contains holes, hence holes in this region, tries to move towards the terminal of the gate. Hence a depletion region is formed between the channel and gate terminal. Here the depletion region is small since voltage is small at the gate. When a larger voltage is supplied at the gate, depletion region formed between the channel and the gate increases, it penetrate the channel, hence blocking the electric field, which further prevent current flow, similar to P-channel. Here electrons are at the gate, and they control the flow of current. Applying the voltage, electrons will flow as shown, Hence an electric field is formed between source and drain. Electrons recombine with holes forming a depletion region between the P-channel, which prevent current flow across the channel. I hope you found this video informative and if you did kindly subscribe, like and share, see you in the next one.